Now that we can insert both text and an image, we're going to look at embedding a URL and how we can modify that and what that means to actually put one in the page. So un under my pages, I'm going to go to amphibians and continue with some information. Now I have my image of a frog here. Let's say I have a website I'd like the students to go to and it is going to be one that's going to provide them some extra information about the frogs and also help them to interact um, with some audio so it's going to be multifaceted not only are they going to be able to do some exploration but it's going to give them an opportunity to experience hearing some frogs based on sounds that have been captured so I'm going to do my double click to have my wheel and you'll see that I have a URL option it's also over on the right under insert I could also do it from here but I'm going to do the URL and it's going to ask me to paste the link into this and then it will attempt to embed the content. The reason that's important is because some links that you may try it may not be able to actually connect to that um, exact link so you want to make sure that it's the one that you want it to go to and that it does work. So I'm going to pull this one which is one that maybe I found in some exploration and these are from uh, the 1950s actually it is a bunch of different recordings of sounds of frogs so the students can scroll through sample them without having to actually buy them so it's going to give them that interactive piece so when I come back here I will paste this URL I will click add and we will see if it will be able to actually handle it now it, it was able to pull it up so what you'll see is it puts in a link with some information from the actual site so what it has done is it has found an image that connects directly with what it is and then it gives me a brief description right here so I can resize this I can also move it you'll notice that I have my four direction arrow that I could move I also have some settings right here if you choose the settings you can change the uh, name that that shows up there you can drop down the description so if I turn the description off and I choose done you'll see all that I have now is the image and the title of the page that it is going to. I can change that anytime that I would like, put the description back on. I could also turn off the title or the image if I would want to. So you can see that you can really modify the URL to do what you would like it to. So whenever you are ready and you have what you want, you can click done. This is now a part of this section of my page, and when the students would click on it to interact with it, it will take them out to that site. It will open a new tab so that they can continue to navigate the current website that you have built for them and go to the next tab as they would need to. So if you have a URL that you have dropped in and you would like to remove the URL from the page, you can simply choose the delete tile and it will remove the URL and the link uh, from your page. If you have a page and you've dropped a URL on and you want to see what it looks like because of the size, always remember that you can choose preview and it will take you out to the actual view of the page. So whenever the students would land here, this is what it would look like. And it's always a great idea to make sure that you're previewing what it looks like because you want to keep the students uh, in mind, especially um, if you have extra things that you're adding to the site that you've not interacted with before so you know what it looks like from their end and also remember whenever you do your preview option you can change to either a tablet view like an iPad or a phone view so if I switch to tablet view here's what they would see on their iPad if they were navigating to this page